Welcome to this week's Mesonet Weather Report. I'm Wes Lee. After spending most of this year with above normal temperatures, a powerful cold front this week gave us a couple of days well below normal. On Tuesday, the maximum temperatures struggled to get out of the 50s. This was about 15 to 20 degrees below the long-term average. That night brought most of the state its first freezing temperatures of the season, dropping all the way down into the teens in far northeast counties. This broke record low temperatures for that day at most stations above the blue line. You can see on this map of hours below freezing that the warm season growing period has ended now in pretty much all areas except the southwest. This freeze, while not a record early date for most, was well below the median freeze date based on a 30-year average, about a week earlier than normal in the Panhandle and about two weeks earlier in the North Central and Northeast regions. This cold spell only hung around for a couple of days before returning us to our seemingly above normal, new normal temperatures. Next week's temperature forecast will likely be cooler than normal for the first part of the week and hopefully raining, followed by a warm-up. Gary is up next with a little improvement for some on the drought map. Thanks Wes and good morning everyone. Well we got another rainfall in the month of October, that makes two. Was it enough to make improvements in the drought monitor? Let's take a look. Well, it was enough to make some improvements. We do see now an area down in southwest Oklahoma where some of those better rains fell, uh, an area of D2, which is severe drought, uh, cutting across the uh, extreme drought, that darker red. So that is an improvement, um, but we did see some uh, enhancements of drought also. So up in far northwest Oklahoma, a little bit more of that severe to extreme to uh, exceptional drought. Also a little bit more up into northeast Oklahoma, that exceptional drought, the darkest red color. So we did see some improvements, but as it rained down in southern Oklahoma, it didn't rain elsewhere, so that's why we got the mixed bag. The severity of our drought is very much reflected in the topsoil moisture. This map from the USDA shows the percent short to very short across the state for the week ending October 16th, and it was 96% of the state at percent short to very short uh, for that topsoil moisture. The worst in the country uh, by a large degree, actually, so uh, not very good news there. Hopefully this will improve on the next week's uh, report uh, with that last rainfall we had. The 30-day rainfall from the Mesnet encompasses both of those October rainfall events and we see where those improvements were made down in southwestern Oklahoma, down into south central Oklahoma. So that's where the best rain fell and that's where the improvements were made. Unfortunately for most of the state, uh, an inch or less, so drought continuing to increase across other parts of the state. And the departure from normal rainfall map, that shows that pretty well from the Oklahoma Mesnet. Again, even though we saw those uh, pretty decent rain amounts down in southwest Oklahoma, those were still mostly deficits as we go through the last 30 days. So uh, unfortunately, rain helps, but we need a lot more and across a larger area of the state. And that's the key. We get a rainfall uh, every once in a while, but we need rains more than just every couple of weeks. We need those once a week at least, uh, and a moderate, uh, slow rainfall uh, to help that soak into the soil, alleviate some of these drought impacts. That's it for this time. We'll see you next time on the Mesonet Weather Report.